Alan Snow is a Tai Chi instructor. He's been on the show a number of times and I enjoy having him on because he talks about or demonstrates a form of exercise, Tai Chi, which is very beneficial to seniors and very easy to accomplish. Welcome back. Thank you, Roland. Good to see you. A couple months ago, uh, in July, at the opening ceremonies at uh, Beijing, there was a remarkable demonstration. There must have been at least 2,000 Chinese people doing Tai Chi. Mm. And, and I suspect you saw that. I did. Yeah. And it was remarkable. I've never seen so many Tai Chi people, but it does demonstrate the fact that Tai Chi is a national exercise form for Chinese. That's correct, yeah. So, yeah. what is tai, tai Chi? I know it goes back thousands of years. Why is it effective? Why is it easy to do? And what's the history? Well, uh, the history we're not uh, completely clear about, but you're quite right. It goes back thousands of years. It's not a new fad. It's not just something that's happened. Mm -hmm. And uh, basically, the uh, movement's very low impact on the body, very gentle, very soft, graceful movements. Mm -hmm. And so uh, one of the beauties of that is that it makes it accessible. It makes it accessible to people in whatever physical condition or shape they're in. And um, Any age could do this. Any age, any mm -hmm. age. I'm working with people in their 80s. Um, I'm working with people in wheelchairs. I know you have uh, numerous variety. classes yeah. and a lot of them with seniors, but it also is something that uh, a senior can do at home, once the senior learns about the first Correct. techniques. Yeah, they're very, very simple movements and mm -hmm. exercises that are really mm -hmm. created to uh, improve the flow of oxygenated blood through mm -hmm. the body, mm -hmm. uh, particularly through all the major internal organs. Mm -hmm. um, the exercises are also designed to open the body, so we, to, to maintain flexibility. Um, but also uh, in the sense that things that we do every day walking down the street, getting in and out of a car, getting in and out of a chair, um, they give us uh, or, or we begin to learn a little bit more self-awareness, spatial awareness, shall mm -hmm. we say. Uh, you know, I must admit that uh, I come from the no pain, no gain school of exercise. Yeah. And so I must confess that when I watch these uh, ex exercises, I keep thinking it's sort of like a modern dance class. Right. You know, uh, right. Uh, but no exercise, just kind of well coordinated. So I know you're going to refute me, but what's the answer? Well, the answer is that um, we're conditioned in the West to think that exercise has to be somehow challenging and rigorous <laughs> and competitive with the body. Mm -hmm. Now, in a sense, Tai Chi and Qigong, they'll, they turn that concept up on its head. Mm -hmm. And um, if you imagine when the body is tight, so if I hold my fist tight like this, after a few moments, the energy, the blood's going to get trapped and caught at the knuckles at the joints. But when the body's soft and open and released, blood flow is improved, the flow of intrinsic energy or chi through the body is qi, improved. The energy. Mm -hmm. And the body can then function to its full ability. But when the body's holding itself tight, see, tight, then not so good. So right. th yeah. No, I was going to say, now that you've sort of explained, the or you have explained the theory, how about a demonstration of how it works? Sure. I'll demonstrate, uh, I'll just show you four very, very simple movements that mm. you can do. Um, and uh, try to give you a little explanation, too, of what's actually happening. Mm -hmm. um, so... You want me to do that now? Yeah, you, it's, it's time now to, to prove the point. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. Well, uh, we usually find a nice uh, standing posture, so usually with the feet shoulder width apart and the knees slightly bent. And we come into a nice alignment from the crown of the head to the tailbone, and we feel the weight of the body down through the feet evenly dispersed. And then we just listen to the breath, and as the breath comes into the body, we just let the hands float up, and down. And we sink a little bit, we push up through the legs, so we're strengthening the legs, drawing the breath into the body. And then we're going to expand and open the thoracic cage, so we're improving the volume, the capacity of the lungs as the breath comes in, and then the all-important breath leaving the body, which is detoxifying, of course, taking 
the stale gases out of the body. So a little bit of a pumping action. Now we're just going to go into one that's really going to open the front of the body and the spine. So we just gently, again, expand and open the body. Soft, opening the joints, releasing the muscles, finding the breath. Simple, very simple and gentle. And then the last one we're going to close with, again, is just finding the breath, containing the movement with the hands, gently just letting the breath out, sinking, still keeping the spinal alignment, using the legs, strengthening from below. And finally, just letting the hands settle at the sides, following the breath out. So in a sense, it's a simple meditation. We're bringing our awareness into the movements. So, so many um, Western exercise systems we can be reading a magazine or a book or watching the TV, but the significant difference with Tai Chi is where we put our intention, mm -hmm. where we put our consciousness when we're... When we're I've, I've, been, I've attended several of your classes, and there are any number of seniors there yes. of, of various ages, yes. And they really get into it, don't they? Yes. That, uh, it has to be said that the, the results with seniors have been quite spectacular. Mm -hmm. In terms of just improving their general postural alignment. Mm -hmm. and, and that begins to grow. That's not just when we do the exercises. That awareness begins to grow into their every day, when, as I said, when they're getting into the car or in line or when they're walking down the street. The improvement mm -hmm. of balance, improvement of self-awareness, where we're putting one foot, where spatial awareness. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a remarkable thing. Well, Colin, uh, I know that you do classes with seniors around the Twin Cities, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm delighted that you're here again to tell the story. Well, thank you for thank inviting you me back. Thank you very much. Colin Snow, Tai Chi Authority.